Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So today I'd like to do those things I was completing. So what we're basically doing was the um, Celestial Altar and we were going to make the um, Collector Crystal and put that on a pedestal and also do a, a ritual, which one's it called? The Ritual, oh, I can't remember, hold a second. This is this one, the Ritual Anchor. We need to put that down as well. So let's have a look at doing that first of all. Oh, so this is a celestial altar. Here. So I built the two items in here, and on this one we have to put a, one block above this. But I believe we have to put the crystal. But I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't seem to always work. Let's, let's just try it. So I put down a, a block there because it's supposed to be one block above this, but it doesn't make complete sense to me because when I look at the book here, it says. That this is a seven a five by five so that's five wide by five deep and then seven high now if you count these level layers here you get one two three four is the top of that one five six so i'm a bit confused but that's where it's supposed to go and in fact i did put it there once and it did work so like that and then we remove this block here of course because it'll get in the way and now this is supposed to do some stuff, but it doesn't seem to do the stuff. It's supposed to have a particle effect here. Anyway, we'll leave it and see what happens. And the other thing we need, I wanted to do was to come over here. I built this one. That was actually quite a straightforward one for the ritual pedestal. And above it, I put the ritual anchor. So what we do, we do in here is we put a crystal. So I was going to use this one. So this one's tuned to a Avitas, I think, so it's pronounced. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty useless at that, I'll be honest. And you put that down here, and then we start to get an effect. And this is also supposed to do other things. It's supposed to put spurs out, but I don't see any spurs. So while I'm here, I'm going to quickly check in here if there's any other star formations. There is one, look. Okay, so this one, <laughs> I know which one this was going to be. It's the one I haven't, the main one I haven't got yet. This must be. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Can't find it. This here, I think, is what it should be. But it doesn't look like it. Let's double check that question. Let's do and quickly check those um, constellations. So we've got Amara. We've got Avitas. Otherwise, it doesn't. We've got it. We've got Decidia. We haven't got this one. Visio. We've got Octans. I did that one. Palacio. I haven't found Palacio. Oh, it could be Palacio actually. Let's have a look at that. That's fairly straightforward. Let's. Uh, where's it gone to? So it goes up to here. And then it must be, I think it's like this, Palatro. So we've discovered Palatro. Good. Whew. I was getting a bit uh, nervous about that one. And all the other windows, I think, have got something in it except for this one. And it doesn't look like there's anything there. So that's another thing there. Now, as you can see, what I'm getting here. I'm getting regen. It's actually for 10 seconds, but uh, regen 2 is what we're getting from this one. We're also getting this green particle effect, and that's the one that actually I was really after. So I don't think this is working. And I'm pretty sure I've got it right. Because what you're supposed to do is to put that one block above there. And then you get the particle up. Maybe it's one of these things you need to restart the game to fix. Anyway, let's go back to the overworld base. And what I want to do, oops, sudden chop stop there, is to put this effect over here. So what I want to do is put it above here somewhere. So let's have a look. Let's take the, I don't want to put it too high. 
maybe maybe around about here so we put this ritual anchor on top of this then we have to go and link the two together I believe so that should do oh I didn't show you this either I've got a I, I found a red a red orchid and I put that on some redstone and this basically is producing red, redstone for us I think we should have I've got three more seeds in there that produces redstone so we'll leave that to do its work in fact it should have produced some as it happens so what we're going to go down now is go and link those two together I think we can do that so in here I've got 39 of these erodium crystals that needs to get up to 54 I think before we can actually do something useful with it but we could actually complete that quest now let's go over here let's get the linking tool out there has been some strange effects I'm a bit puzzled by at the moment I've had some disappearing items like my dank null disappeared my handy bag disappeared my astral tomb disappeared and if you and I was going, well, I don't understand what was going on. So anyway, let's go back over here. Now, what we have to do with this one is we have to link it. So we, we link this one up here, don't we? Ritual anchor. Now, I'm not allowed to move off this one. So what we'll do is we'll just fly. I presume there's no problem with distance. A bit lower, I think. I'm not sure. I don't think there's a timeout on this either. So, so it's linked. So now this effect is coming in here, and we should see actual. We get regen, of course, so that means it's working. In fact, I'm not sure how far the regen works from, but that should also give us growth. So these these seeds should start to grow faster. And you can see there's a green particle effect there. And you saw that red orchid suddenly pop up, disappear down there like that. So that looks like that's going very fast as it happens. Yeah, I would say that's going very fast. So do we get that effect here? We do, don't we? I'm not sure what the range of it is, but it looks like, well, it takes 10 seconds to go away anyway. So we get regen from, oh, okay, that's nice. It's definitely working, look, the particle effects, green one's going up. Phew. Now, what it is, I found another um, pulverizer, which I've made. So what I'm gonna do, I can take this link, don't need the linking tool anymore so we can stop linking that one in fact we'll put it up there and in which one is it I think it's probably this one here I've got these resident upgrade kits I think we can apply I think it's this one we can apply the whole one to, the, to everything and it goes all the way up I'm not 100% sure let's just try it it'll tell me if I can't do it won't it no, nope, I can't do that one. So I've got to go through the lot. There is one that you can actually go through, but it's actually one at a time. So I'm going to make this resident, and I'm going to put into that four speed upgrades. Reinforced is next, isn't it? I wanted to put the resident one in there. It's wrong. We should put this one in. And now we can put the resident one in. And then we can put into here four upgrades, speed upgrades like that so this should then start to work a lot faster it's getting power the power's a bit slow because it's, and it probably needs a better power thing so now it should work a lot faster let's go and test that what well, I'm going to test it on I'm going to nether right uh, yes let's take this nether quartz here and grind this up it doesn't seem that much faster so compare that to the other one here a 
fact that actually seems faster than this one it doesn't seem right at all does it <laughs> have I got the right module in here machines processing speed okay that's something's wrong there I think it doesn't look right at all let's take out one of these Tell you what, if we put them in one at a time instead of shift clicking them, does that make a difference? <laughs> Something is very wrong here, look at that. That seems to be going slower. I don't get that. Hmm. Okay. completely confused by that one right okay never mind we shall carry on regardless so what that basically means is that we can get I think I put them in here in fact the sixth growth crystal accelerator so that was a quest and completed that quest I've also made some redstone energy flux ducts which I would like to to do as well so let's just do that one first of all I need some redstone I think it's probably about I think it's don't know how many it is we'll take a stack so this is the fluid fluid transposer let's put those into here uh, and let's put the magna crystal stuff into here that's a redstone so that should smelt so that's going very fast and it's using up power so that should so we have to set up the configuration of this probably haven't done that yet so that is outputting on that side and this should be inputting on this side I'll oh, probably need the wrong word, Phil. Yes. There we go. So that's using 20 each go, isn't it? So we've got 60, we need 120, so we need another stack. Minus 8. Fifty-six, huh? Or should have them some some we should have some redstone energy flux duct in there. So what I'm going to do with that is put those underneath. While that's doing that, let's get these opened. <laughs> Leadstone flux duct, that's funny, isn't it? But we're making the high one. Black blacker lotus emits strong magical vibes. That's probably a good one for Britannia. And this one, XP and experience jumps up. Now I've got that somewhere, I think they go into here. I'm going to put this away now. Once you put one in you can shift click the others in. 48 and this is 27. Which one's slow? might be short of power never mind I'm not going to worry about that one so let's deal with these gro growth crystals because that's another quest there uh, sorry these growth accelerators because that's another question so that's applied so now we've completed the gro crystal growth with the six growth accelerators let's claim the reward and go back and then we've got this one opened up so a crystal growth chamber now this is a uh, pretty awesome this thing as it happens which is this one here so what we need is a chest a hopper and a glass cable we're missing everything but there shouldn't be missing everything i might be doing to do on this table here quartz glass just glass, okay. Let's take a stack of glass out of here. Might as well open up this while I'm looking at it. Okay. Food and cupboards. Let's get rid of the cupboards and let's put the food into the chest up here. Ruby sandwiches. So, what do we want to do? We want to make some glass. Put it up today as it happens to make 64 that'll do nicely oh yes that's one per glass isn't it so 
that will make eight that's fine we'll do those and then the last one is these We've got four of those so we should be able to make this thing oh no we need a chest We've got a chest and a hopper okay so we must have a hopper in here And chest we've got with us somewhere. So we've now got this crystal growth chamber. Which is a bit strange, it's a quest. I'm just about it. Quest line's a bit weird. So we get um, choice reward. Well, just take a, just a loot chest. I must admit, I don't like these loot chests as rewards. What I haven't done is an ME controller, a storage device. There should be an an energy thing. Where have we got the energy? Another set of flux ducts. Vibration chamber. Why haven't we got a vibration chamber on here as a quest? Oh, no, it's not the vibration chamber we want. We want the, um, you know, I can't remember its name. Can't spell either. This one, energy accept is what it's called. So what are we missing? Iron and fluids. Okay. As with seeds, it really doesn't make much. Unless we're not getting enough seed stuff in here, it's sort of a bit strange not to use it, isn't it? I mean, to use the seeds because. Why do we need to make pure crystals? So let's make the energy acceptor. What do we need? Some iron, wasn't it? Forgotten. No, we've got everything. Thought we would have. So let's go and put this down somewhere and then put to, onto that a... Where should we do the applied energistic stuff? Maybe over here is sensible. That was a bit slow. So let's put um, an energy point on a flux point on here like this. Configure it. And then that should start to emit stuff I think it only works when there's something in it which is great it means you save power so all we need to do is then is make some stu um, crist pure crystals let's do it with the ones we've got we've got 30 quartz here I think we'll just take that is that 30 quartz? crush quartz yes it is now we've got a stack of 48 so let's put those two into here now, are they working? Yes, they are. And look at the speed of that. And I haven't got any speed upgrades in this at all. Because here you could put speed upgrades in on the right hand side. I, oh, that reminds me. I You can't see my mouse pointer. And I keep referring to things with the mouse pointer that you can't see. I'm sorry about that. I do apologize because that's nonsense. <laughs> anyway, an ME controller. Let's look at the ME controller because that's the next quest, I think. Where's it gone to? This one. So, all right, this one we do need some pure fluids crystals. Uh, and an engineering processor. So we need to make the inscribers first of all. So let's do the inscriber. That's also a quest. In fact, we can make one of those straight away. In fact, we need to make a four. We need to make about five of these to automate it properly. I'm not sure how many we can actually make. Oh, we can make eight. So let's take five. So that's one for each of the types plus. Um, let's get rid of that. Oh, that's good. Didn't expect that to happen like that. That's one for each of the types plus. Um, and let's grab a crust done. Yes. Plus the one for the for the actual processes, and I'm going to put those down here. 
Oh, I haven't discussed this either. So that's something else I want to discuss. Let's put them down this way. Oops, try again and doing it right. Don't know they get power. I suspect they do. So we got the four presses. Let's get the four presses four presses out. I think I've been having do you know I don't know if I've put them away or not. I think I've been putting the I put them actually away. I've got to go and find them. And that will be fun. Oh actually you can do it like this can we press shift on the crate. I don't think we see everything on that. No we don't. Do you know I've absolutely no idea where I've put these. It's been such a long time. If there's any way it'll be in the top ones of these. Nope. Well, actually that reminds me. These tower keys. There was one of the doors I bypassed. Um by by knocking a hole beside it. And that one had got four key molds on it, so I was thinking, oh maybe that's actually the one we need. Here we go. So we need one of each of these. Oh, we can actually manufacture these, which is a bit odd. I don't understand that. Quest complete press. Okay. Well we found the presses a long time ago. We're doing quite well on these now. So we've got engineering, inscriber calculation scrap a logic press I think we do the calculation one first because that's gold isn't it and the next one is the logic press which is um, quartz engineering press which is diamonds and the fourth one of these is the silicon press so we need to make an engineering processor so that's one diamond I'll do it. make a couple, I think. Because we're bound to need more. And some silicon. Now, silicon, I have got a seed for. So we might have some silicon either in one of these. Doesn't look like it at the moment, does it? I can see we've got some certain squirts and some fluids. Oh, we might as well do those as well. Um, pulverize these up. Oh. So we're short of oh, 10. Let's get those finished off. 21 of those and nothing in that one. We can put the... I think we'll put 16 in. Oops. Try again. Ah! I got the dust. We got, we got enough for 8. I think we only need to less than that. That'll make 16 anyway, won't it? Let's go and put those into the machine. Into the growth chamber. These are already finished. We'll take these out. They won't take very long as it happens. And now the engineering one is I'm doing them in order that I actually light placement is that the wrong one engineering press do I not put diamonds in there can I not shift click them in that's a bit strange what have I done wrong here that's definitely silicon you know, what I should do is check the recipe, shouldn't I? That would be sensible. Maybe it's not diamonds, and maybe it's something else. Huh, it's a pure fluids crystal. Okay, that's different. So they should, uh, well, at least it makes sense then to have some few pure fluids crystals. With these are already done. So let's get a couple of these done. I can only put one at a time, can't I? So we got that one. Okay, good. Let's 
So the this one pulverizer. Oh, it's got the thing in it. Oh, one, that's the reason why. I thought you'd get some more dust. Probably need to make some more seeds while I'm thinking about it. Let's do that as well. Yeah, I've got a full inventory. It doesn't help. Let's put the engineering press down in here. And let's get this. We also need some silicon as well. So what have we got here? Eight of those. That'll do nicely. Let's put the sand into here. Get some silicon out. This was the seed we made last time, wasn't it? And the uses of this. So we get quite a lot, so we're going to get a stack in a bit, I reckon. We can't f put that in there. Where did that disappear off to? Doesn't matter, we've got some silicon in our inventory. Let's put that into. I guess it's silicon goes into the silicon press. It does good. And my inventory is completely full again. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I've got on me. Put these seeds into here. It's a bit of a lot of running around in here, isn't it, today? So let them grow up. So we now done, haven't done the pure. I've made that one already, haven't I? In fact, let's get this one prepared as well. I suppose the easiest thing to do is hopper those in and out because these are all connected. All these, all these inscriber presses. Uh, you only need the adapter. They haven't run any cables to, which is fine. Now we need some redstone, and we should be able to put those together to make the engineering. Let's take two pieces of redstone. I probably could have taken a stack and put it in the bottom there, couldn't I? So, engineering press, silicon press, and redstone. We should have our first processor. Great. That just goes into the wrong, wrong place, wrong thing. Let's put the right one in. Right, good. So what do we need to do now? Let's get rid of that. Don't need one spare of those. The numbers sometimes are strange. So let's have a look. What was I making? I was making the controller, wasn't I? So what do we need? Skystone blocks, which we make from Skystone, which we make from Skystone, <laughs> Skystone seed. Have I got Skystone? I must have it because we went and did a load of stuff, didn't we? I haven't got a seed for it so for certain. Okay, you can put lava in us with some Skystone duct to get some Skystone dust, but I'm sure I've got it. Let's go and check. If you've got it anywhere, it'll be in blocks. should be a lot of it. I know we need some of the skystone dust anyway. Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, it's not in there. Have we got any in, in the system? Of course, that's not going to work with this search. We have to get rid of the search. I'll do it down here. Let's see how it happens. And what did I just do? Yes, we've got lots of it. I knew we had. Because I was doing the... Um, what was I doing? I was digging up... Now, which one is it? This one? No. That's obsidian. Well, why don't I use the index and get it out that way? Because when I was getting the um, the presses or finding the presses, I did that. 
I got lots of because I was digging up as well. And I was getting chests, so let's. Oh, we've got enough now. So let's see if we can actually make the controller. Two missing. Ah, oh, sky. We all right. So we have got to cook the other one now. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get the, the rest of it out to fill. Double click that away again. So where have we got that? So the indexer wasn't it. Oh, it's still coming in. Okay, we might as well use this furnace. A bit short of coal in here, but I think it would be enough. <laughs> Look at that. So we should definitely be able to do this now. Yay, we can do one controller, fantastic. Well, that was hard work. So let's have a look at the quests again now. Choice reward, take the loot chest. That's done it already, crystal yes within that one. So we've done the inscriber, which I only need one for. We've done the controller. We've done the presses. I think I've run out of space. I reckon that stuff's going to be dropping on the floor it is. So <laughs> let's get rid of some of this stuff that I've got on me. I'm going to put it... Let's put it in here for the time being. So what have we got here? Chance of, and some air. Now air gives you something sometimes, but not always. Let's go and put those away. Where did they disappear to? I didn't see them disappear in here, but there must have been a space. Oh, do they not? Oh, random. I haven't done those. Okay, fine. Let's do the next one. Oh, we've got gravel. Oh, that's what we got from the air. Gravel. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's get rid of that. Let's open up this chest and we've got a food one and another loot chest. Tiny torches, some mushrooms to use, some mushrooms. Let's get rid of what we can because you usually end up with something. You, I think the mushrooms will go away because I've got a space for those in there. And the bits and pieces, the soup will go into cooked food. 25 now. Another one of those, my goodness. That's a real surprise as it happens. And we've got another loot chest, and we've got two walruses. Fantastic, let's just sort them out. I do have a space for walruses, but they're only just decoration. And they don't look that great. What else have we got in here? Any more? Is that done? Right, let's go and put this ME controller down. Where am I going to put it? I think I'll put it at the back here. And it should start to flash. So let's have a look what's next on the on the list of quests for this one. Circuits. So we've done the so let's do the other two. So we've got gold and I think they are the standard ones. Except for let's take a couple of those. And the other one was Certis Quartz, wasn't it? I bet it's pure Certis Quartz. In the wrong place. Well, let's just double check it before we do that. So it's called calculation. Ah, so it's pure surface quartz crystals. Okay, I don't think I've got any pure surface quartz yet. No, nope, we've made another quartz, and we've made that one. So let's get some pure Sirtis Quartz. So Sirtis Quartz is... I know where it is. There. Let's use that. I think this will give me 32. Oh, 24. And let's, let's put half of those into this polarizer and half into this. 
Now that's going fast this time. I That's going slow, that's normal speed, that's good. So let's get some sand. Going through sand fast, but sand's easy to make. Don't you feel that's right, yes. So let's put these together. We've got 48 crystals, they won't take a few seconds to, to get up so we can do those as well, goodness. Let's remove those. And let's see what else we can make. Put those into here, I think they'll go into there. Probably can do the gold ones, I hope it's gold and gold ingots. Gold is the first one, isn't it? Nope, that's not going in there. Try that one. So wrong. <laughs> oh dear, let's try circuits. I bet it's. Yeah, I thought it might be. But we could have easily guessed that one, couldn't we? So it's the pure crystals for doing that. Let's get that one done. I suppose we only got to make one of each. Should be this one. Nope. Is that logic? Oh, that's calculation. Okay. Logic presses. Okay, good. So that one's done. Now, in here, we should have the next one of these. They should be ready, which they are. I say it doesn't take very long at all to do those. So that must be the first one. Well, I suppose the colours match, don't they? Now, all right, good quest completed circuits, and I'll bet you anything we've got to make these into that one. So we need some more silicon, and I haven't got any. Let's go and get some silicon. I bet we need pre processors as well as circuits. Make three, if we can, we'll make three. I ought to need to automate this, and one way to automate it is with um. Uh, with hoppers, I think it's probably the easiest way of doing it. So let's put that into there. My inventory is already full. Let's get rid of the sand. Get rid of the gold. Don't get rid of everything in here. The only thing that will disappear, I think, is the sand. Redstone either. Let's go and get some redstone. In fact, there's an easy way I could have used my index app remote, and that would have done it the trick. It doesn't actually matter whether or the order of those, by the way. You can have the printed silicon at the bottom or at the top. So let's have a look now at the quests. So we can claim that one back. What we're missing here engineering process which we already made okay let's do that one so that was do you know which one was it i think that will be in, it's the engineering one fluix isn't it and i've got no more pure fu fluix here oh dear so since it hasn't detected it we'll make another one We'll only do one, I think, because otherwise we get out full inventory with stuff. Those should stack after they've been in. If after you put one in. In fact, let's do that. I'm pretty sure, certainly with um. Silicon is very useful to do it. Now, I saw some hoppers in here, at least one hopper. 
And I think hoppers are a bit difficult to make at the moment because chests are a problem because of that siding spug. So if I just put the hopper on top of here, try again. And then just put it into that silicon. And then we haven't got any more. Brilliant. What have I done here? One of those, and I haven't got any redstone, and I haven't got that. I'm not doing very well today. Let's just. Oh, wrong one. Let's go and get some more silicon and some redstone. One piece of redstone and 35 silicon. Oh, and a full up. Oh, we got a loot chest. Let's open up the loot chest. And it's the bean one. And that's going to throw everything on the floor. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go. I don't think I can pick up anything. That's just. Um, I know what we can do. Let's use the bottom one of these. I don't really want to sort this. Because it's going to make. It's going to change the order of these rock crystals. And they were sorted. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just do it like that. So where's the other stuff gone to? Uh huh. Good. The magnet picked it up straight away. I thought there was more than just two, three items. Or oh, five. Oh, I can hear them clicking on there. That's the beans. Bean soup. It doesn't really matter, does it? The only reason I was thinking about that is because uh, soup goes into here and the bean should go below it. Oh, that's actually soybean seed. Less than magic beans and beans. Is that everything? Oh yes, and this one. Magic beans. Okay, good. I've got some more of those somewhere else, but I'm not going to waste time doing that now. Let's get, let's get the rest of my bits and pieces out of here. Oh, I don't need the mini torches for certain. That was something else we could have left behind, isn't it? So let's see if we can come along here now and put this into the hopper. And I seem to have lost them. Oh, did I do it already? No, I didn't. Oh, dear. So whatever happened to my silicon i suppose i didn't take it after all that because i ran out of space in the inventory didn't i let's do it that anyway well this is a lot of running around but this, this should work and this is actually quite a good time saver if i've got it right does it not go down okay i have to move the move the hopper to the right place i think it has to go down it's either at the back or the side obviously the side's going to be a bit of a more of a pain. If we can do it at the back, it would be good. Yes, I think that's working. Let's just have a look. Yes, that's the one. Fine. Just put them in the back, and then we can just direct them straight in. And then they stack. So we'll have a stack of these ready for the next operation. So now we've got the engineering one, which should complete the quest processes. Of doing all this is great but it has to have a reason for this doesn't it so so then we come to the circuits so i've got a few more bits and pieces to do before we get further on charged we don't really need automated inscriber ah oh, yes this is another one from a2 stuff isn't it that's another good one to do so let's have a look at the advanced inscriber hopefully they do use standard inscribers it's another one that's really good for automation Okay, two hoppers, one inscriber, two engineering processors. Okay, so we really need a bunch of hop a bin a bunch of hoppers. So let's do that. It's gonna make about we've got five of those machines. Oh gosh, got this loot chest as well. Before I do that, can I get rid of the iron? Nope, I can't. I can in there. 
Oh, okay, another sandwich in. Cupboard one, get rid of the cupboard. Put the sandwiches away. Try not to put my tomb away, that would be bad. So we need two more of these. Oh, I've got one here. Did I not make it after all that? Or was that a second one? Okay, let's get the redstone. And I want to make the hoppers, don't I? So chests we do have. I've got a lot of chests in one of my inventory slots in here. 31. Let's take half of those. Turn all of those into hoppers. Probably haven't got enough iron. Twelve. Twelve will do for starters. But of course, we got a slight space problem here. I'll do this other circuit while I'm thinking about it, and put some of these on the back of these as well. So do we have the hoppers with us? I'll leave them behind. I'll leave them behind, didn't I? So, okay. So this one gets made with this and some redstone. And I'll get rid of three of those things. So we can go back and get the hoppers. So we put one of each one of each on these machines here. I think we've got time to look at the last one. But what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this one as the first automation. So let's break that one. So the ME controller should lose its connection now. It's got no power. But it doesn't matter much because we're not doing anything with it yet. <laughs> well, there we are then. So now we need to make this one. Advanced Inscriber. Automated inscribing. Now, have we got to just double check this quest? I'm pretty sure I've got that done. Oh yes, that's good. It was the charger I was worried about. We don't really need the charger because um, but maybe we can make it anyway. Let's have a look. Just two flux crystals in there and I'm sure I've got some in here. Just to complete the quest. The reason we don't need it is we can put everything in the energy to confuse us. So there we go. One charger. So let's oh we'll put it down. I'll put it down. Where? Let's put it down. Oops. Messing around with these things. Let's put it down here. The standard use for this is to charge crystals. So now we've got one of these. Advanced inscribers. Now these are great. It's the same thing I've used in... Um, I think you can put a stack in at a time. I use this in uh, Galactic Science too. So you basically automate everything up dead easily with this one. In fact, there's nothing that I've got at the moment to do. I could actually put a hopper on the back of it, but that would only fill the redstone in, wouldn't it? No. So I'll leave that. So these things here, so we've got some silicon presses. That's what's this one. So this would be the pure Certis Quartz, I think. Yes, it is. Let's just do that one. I think the same thing happens there. We probably need a whole load of these. And I haven't got the other two, so I need some Certis Quartz and I think we need mostly pure Certis Quartz, don't we, as opposed to pure Nether Quartz. Let's do these. You generally don't need so many presses. Uh, engineering presses, I mean, sorry. So this one will be this one. But I think you need quite a lot of logic and calculation presses. 
So I'll make a dozen of these. Like that. So then they're going to be working away quite happily making more circuits. And then silicon's got us full now so we can then make any any processor we need for the next step. So that's a very simple automation and we'll improve on that as time goes by. Because we need to get this next bit done. Now how long have I been doing? 50 minutes. <laughs> well I am I think next time I'm going to go back to the Twilight Forest. It's been a few bit it's been a while since I've done the Twilight Forest, well two episodes. And um this time I'm going to go and do the next one which is I think is the Snow Queen. And I'll try and do it properly this time because I didn't do very well with the uh August. There was a few things and bits and pieces I missed out. Anyway, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>